So I want to teach you how to make a picture frame centerpiece. Welcome back my designers to my inspiring design with me Justine where all I want to do is inspire you. In today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to make a picture frame centerpiece on a small budget. If you're interested in knowing how to make a picture frame centerpiece, I know you want to make it. Don't look at me in my eyes. I know you want to make it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. Please keep watching. So the first thing you want to do is take the backing off the picture frames and add in your own photos. So the one thing I want to stress when it comes to making, opening the frames is that you don't push them hard, especially if you get the ones from Dollar Tree because that's exactly what happened and I ended up breaking a glass. I had three extra ones from a previous project so I was lucky that otherwise I would have been in the store buying another one. So just be careful. So step two is taking the picture stand off. You can easily pry these open with pliers or your own hands. Step three is gluing all the edges of the frames together. I use the hot temperature glue. You can use E6000 or whatever glue you have to ensure that it stays stuck together. So step four is to cut a poster board for the bottom of the centerpiece. You want to trace on the outside of it and that way you're able to cut within. I forgot to mention this in the supply in the beginning of the video, but you can use whatever you have lying around. It's just to ensure that the floor foam doesn't slip as you're moving the centerpiece around. Um, here's a side note. Just make sure when you're cutting the poster board for the bottom that it is slightly smaller than the actual centerpiece. Step five is to place the floor foam directly inside the picture frame centerpiece. Step six, you are going to grab your bunch of roses and trim them down all the way towards the bottom. Um, it's better to have long stem roses versus shorter stem because you can always trim it as you go along, which I ended up doing anyways. And I pulled off the leaves because I didn't need them. Step seven is to insert the flowers. Um, I like to work in the corner and then kind of fill in the gaps in between. I tend to use artificial flowers. Um, leave me a comment below. Would you use artificial or real flowers in your centerpiece? And last but not least, step eight is to fluff out those flowers. Make them look beautiful. was so nice I had to put my little cool shades on because it was beautiful I'm just kidding what do you guys think did you like it if you did give me that thumbs up so I know that you thought it was just as awesome as I'm thinking right now that's all I have for you uh, in today's video I hope you liked it make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell um, to make sure you get notifications on all future uploads and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!